Hi, this is Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2017 on a 66. It is the Ford Transit Custom. It is the 2 litre TDCI, so that's the Euro 6 engine. So if you're going into any of the emission zones areas such as London, Ulayas, Birmingham, Bath, Bristol, Manchester going to be bringing one in, I think Portsmouth. Yeah, they're coming in everywhere, aren't they? Future proof yourself, get yourself a Euro 6 van. Uh, this is the L2 long wheelbase H1 low roof model. L2. L2s are rare, aren't they, compared to the short wheelbase. Um, so L2, uh, nice length in it. Uh, we've got a quite a substantial Rhino, uh, Rhino safe uh, ladder rack on the roof there. So you've got a three bar Rhino system with the uh, Rhino safe part of it on the roof. Um, so that is, it's the best part of a grand new, to be fair. Um, so quite an expensive bit of kit. It's on there. If you don't want it, we'll take it off, okay? But it's on there at the moment, so. Um, what's and all is the uh, point of the videos. Uh, we sell loads of vans of people who watch our what's and all videos. This means we point out the good bits and the bad bits so you can make an informed decision um, just by us videoing it, basically. So let's get started. Um, on your windscreen here, windscreen. Now, uh, the other point to make out as on this video is um, I've got somebody asking me to do a video walk around of it, of it before we finished uh, valeting it and prepping it. So you're gonna have to bear with us. Um, there's obviously uh, the interior hasn't been valeted on it properly yet, um, but you'll get an idea. It's it's actually a very straight, tidy van. Valet, finished valeting it. It's going to come up lovely. A couple of other little jobs to do. Um, for some reason at the moment it's got a wiper blade missing on it. I have no idea where that's disappeared. I've just noticed it as I'm stood here. So obviously you're going to get a fresh set of wiper blades on it. It's got an oil service light on it at the moment. We don't just do an oil service and wipe its arse. We do a proper service on them before they go out. So we do oil, oil filter, air filter, fuel filter, filter and pollen filter. We will also do a wheels off brakes check on it. Um, so you will get exactly, know exactly what uh, life you've got left on you. Well, not exactly, but you get a, it's a traffic light system for your brake pads. Uh, same as what you do, how would happen if you had a main dealer service done on it. So you'll get exactly, you'll know exactly what your brake pads are like, basically, um, and what your tire tread depths are, what your coolant is rated down to, what your battery alternator and starter motor outputs are. Uh, we do a 110 point PDI check. We do an electronic health check. So. Um, we link it up to diagnostics, just make sure that there's nothing hidden in the background that's going to cause either of us any grief. Now we have just uh, checked this vehicle out on the Ford ETIS system, which we have access to. Uh, so you'll get an original uh, specification of it, original uh, build sheet specification, but it's also a very good way of us checking to see if there's any recalls outstanding on it. Now there is on this one, it's got the uh, timing belt recall outstanding on it. So uh, it's off to our Ford dealer on Wednesday of this week uh, where uh, it will get that checked out. And um, yeah, depending on what they find, um, it's about 50-50 at the moment, whether they're banging a belt on it or not. Um, so uh, yeah, talk to us and uh, we'll let you know what happens from that point of view. So um, in overall, as I say, overall pretty good condition, I have to say. Um, so let's start up here on the roof, okay? You've got your Rhino safe stone got some uh, work lamps there as well we have the Rhino three bar system anyway so even if you didn't want the ladder part you can keep your three Rhino bars um, or um, yeah just take the whole lot off so you've got a uh, rack free roof uh, coming down to your windscreen windscreen is in good overall condition there are no major stone chips cracks or anything like that that's going to cause either of us any grief yes it needs a clean but it's in good order Bonnet, coming down onto your bonnet. Again, the bonnet is in good overall condition. We've got some stuff that's just fallen off the trees overnight on it. So if you're looking at this going, oh, it's stone chips, it isn't. It? Right, so this is gonna be a bit strange when you go back to this because uh, I'm just gonna have to patch the video together because the telephone's gone off and cut the video out. And I've forgotten exactly where I was on the video. However, um, yeah, I think we've done windscreen, bonnet, all good. Front grills are all good. Uh, I'm battling. Normally we'd have it somewhere a little bit more appropriate for doing a video, a little bit easier to do a video in, but we've just um, literally stuck it in the entrance of the valeting side. So um, grills are all good. Passenger side light unit's all good. Passenger side front bumper corner is all good. Now, as you can see, 
Uh, this is not a standard van, so it has front and rear parking sensors. It has front fog lights. It has air conditioning. So um, it's not a standard van, is it? And we all need that air conditioning in this weather, don't we? So just looking down the side profile from this angle, all straight. Um, no dent man dings, no damage, all looking good. Back around to the driver's side, the driver's side headlamp unit's all good. Driver's side front bumper corner, again, that's all good with no scuffing. We look down the driver's side of the van as well. Again, pretty straight and tidy. We have a little dent man ding that I can see in the driver's door. It's about here. Um, not, nothing major, easy enough to get out. Uh, so we can all sort that out for you. Driver's side wings all good. Mirror unit with integrated indicator is all good. Upper and lower mirrors all intact. Driver's side door glass all good. No damage from it going up and down. Driver's side door itself, that's all looking tidy as well. Have a look at your alignment of your panels and you can see they all align as they should. So we have that little ding there. Really, really minor one. Not particularly noticeable, but it is there. We have a little ding by the handle there. Now, I'm not convinced the dent man's going to be able to get that one out, but you can always have a go at it. Door handles looking good. Door edges, go down those, have a look at those. Those are all looking good. They're not battered. Uh, no major chipping on there either. Getting down low, look at your sills. Your lower sills are in good condition with no damage to them and your side protective rubbing strip down the side of the vehicle again that is in good order as well now the monster rear quarter that you get on the driver's side uh, as you can see that's in good condition as well uh, with no damage on there if you have a look at your arches and stuff all the things all looking good uh, i have just gone past the driver's side front steel wheel which is a genuine Ford steel wheel with a Hancock tyre fitted to it. Uh, that tyre has loads of tyre tread depth on it, as you can see there. Your front mud flaps, those are good. Again, rear wheel, Hancock tyre, genuine Ford steel wheel. Loads of tyre tread depth on there as well. Uh, and again, rear mud flap that side. We have bumper corner this side, all good with no scuffing. Your light unit on this side, again, that's all good. No damage to that, just giving you another viewpoint down the side of the vehicle from this angle. Uh, rear doors, as you can see, are of the barn door variety. 50-50 split. In overall good condition, there are a couple of minor marks I'm going to point out to you, but let's just point out rear work lamps. Obviously, your ladder, big yellow handle there, pull that. We've got the instructions for the whole ladder thing inside. It all just slides back off the back and then it gets you to load your ladder in safely and securely. Uh, upper brake lights all good. Look at your alignment of the rear doors. It all aligns up nicely. Now, the only bit I will point out to you is here. Okay, looks to be at some point, it's just got a little bit of ding, been touched in. Um, might be able to do something with that with our smart repairer. Let's see what he thinks, what he can do with it. Rear door handle, it needs dressing, doesn't it? But the door handle's in good order. We open up the rear of the vehicle. So, a few things to point out. You have a factory bulkhead. Bulkhead is of the opening variety. So you open up that flap there and it'll give you additional load length underneath your passenger seats. It has additional LED lighting fitted in the back, as you can see, an extra two items there. We have quite a nice little uh, metal rack there. I've no idea what that bit of wood is there for. I think we'll probably end up just taking that off. Uh, ply lining's in good order, although it's got some, obviously, paint on it. Um, but ply lining itself, all pretty good. Your uh, boxes on your rear wheels, those are all good, and the ply flooring is in good overall condition as well. Again, dropped a little bit of something there. Again, I think we should be able to get this tidied up a little bit nicer. Inside of your rear doors, again, not battered or anything. Uh, we'll get rid of this. It's obviously, I think it's property maintenance company or something like that, isn't it? Uh, community housing group, something like that. But um, inside of the rear doors, they're not battered. There are marks on them, but they're not dented and battered. In actual fact, bit of tea cut and cleaning. Probably kept those up nicely. Um, you know, a little bit of a hole in the door panel there. But uh, again, nothing is horror story stuff with it. Um, 
rear light unit this side, that's all looking good, no damage to that. Bumper corner this side, all good with no scuffing. Give you a viewpoint down the side of the vehicle from this angle. And again, this side really nice and tidy. Nothing really much to point out to you. Upper panels all looking good. Lower panel, that's all looking good. Arch and everything, no damage to that. Got another hand-cook tire on this side on a factory steel wheel. That hand-cook tire has plenty of tire tread depth, as you can see there. Your sliding door, that's all looking good. Get down low, look at your sills. Your lower sills are all in good condition with no damage. Your black protective strip down the side of it's all good. I think we have a couple of just little chips there just to touch in. One there, one there. Uh, door handles are all good. Alignment of your doors, those are all looking sweet as well. Passenger door, all looking good. We have a little mark here, which I think will take it off. Um, and we have a little, oh no, it's a spider's web. Uh, door glass, all good, needs a clean. As I say, it's not been finished valeting it. And then your driver's side, driver's passenger side front wing, that's all looking good. Again, factory steel wheel. Again, another handcuffed tire with loads of tire tread depth. So you've got four matching handcuffed tires on it. Sliding door opens, slides back into place nicely as well. Your door shuts are nice and clean. Door holds shut nicely. Just give you another viewpoint of the back as she currently stands. That's a bit of wood I think we've probably been removed. The little thing on the back there will remove that as well. Uh, and we'll wipe down your bulkhead, it's a little bit dusty. But your entry seals here, those are all looking good. Door slides back really nicely, closes well as well. Passenger side, passenger side door glass and door card again. Door card's all very good. Clean inside, no excessive damage, or to be honest, not a lot of damage at all. Same on your passenger side, your passenger side entry sill and step, uh, plastic steps all good. The sill itself is in good condition. Your door shuts, as you can see, those are nice and clean as well. Here is your diesel fuel filler with your uh, Ad Blue. Um, a little bit damp there because I've just put 20 quid's worth of diesel in it. Um, headlining all looking good. Um, now, dashboard, etc. So, top of the dash, all nice. Excuse the shadows. Okay, glove box, uh, all looking good. Handbox and everything are in there. Your rubber flooring is in the middle of being cleaned. We will dress it nicely for you. But as you can see, hopefully, there is no damage on your rubber flooring. Now, the seating, the seating is dirty at the moment. We will wash it all, okay? Um, they come up a treat. You're just going to have to trust me on that. Um, but your backrest, as you can see, nice and neat and tidy. And your seating, yes, it needs a machine uh, vac um, and probably a little bit more hard work on these bits, but it should clean up pretty nice, to be fair. Um, and then just going around to the driver's side. Ah, as you can hear there, your door check strap, noisy as hell, really common fault on them, we'll get it replaced. It's about 20 quid from Ford and we'll fit it. So you will have a nice new door check strap that doesn't make a noise when you open up the door. Entry seals this side, again, really nice condition. It's not worn through here like they quite often are. The flooring inside, not in bad order. You've got a little bit of wear on the floor, but nothing excessive. Sometimes they can get hold there. Your brake pedal rubbers are all good driver's side seat squab as you can see that's in nice condition as well and a good wet vac on that will bring it back up to to new door handle obviously this side central locking this side electric windows you have manual mirrors uh, we have light switches here for your um, work lights on the back um, and I guess the other one might be for internal work lights something like that we'll work out what they're for anyway uh, parking sensor button because as I say it's got front and rear parking sensors cup holder manual lights rear fog oh you've got front fog lights and rear fog lights we have your storage bin in here with your 12 volt power in there as well steering wheel is in good overall condition with not too much wear to it um, again some of these can wear quite badly and then top of the dashboard this side all the plastics are in nice condition. So once it's been cleaned, we dress it all, clean it all up nicely. And um, yeah, it's all pretty good. So just double check which radio system we've got in it. So obviously it's got Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. Uh, 
we've got an FM, so we've just got an FM and AM on the radio, and we've got a Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. You've got your little phone holder there, six speed manual gearbox, the all important air conditioning. It isn't standard, it's a God given right in a van, isn't it? Geez, you've got to use it as an office, you do not want it to be sweating your ass off. Um, wipers, right hand side, indicators, left hand side. Uh, tells us that the oil change is required, um, so we'll get that sorted out on it. There's no engine management light on it when you when you. I'm not going to fire it up because it's noise on the video. It's not great, um, but um, uh, yeah, that goes out once it's fired up. Uh, just tells us the oil change is required. I've covered that subject. We will get it sorted out on it. Driver's doors open. There you go. Sixty-one thousand four hundred eighty-nine miles. So, you know, as a bit of a. Um, just running through what I've already said. It's in good overall condition. You've got a couple of dent man dings on it. You've got that little ding on the uh, edge of the rear door on the one side. You've got the door hinge check strap to replace on it. Tires are all really good. I would suggest six to seven millimeters, but we'll confirm that on the PDI check for you. Uh, we're gonna service it. It's gonna go up to four to have the uh, cam belt recall done on it as well. Um, I think that's about it really service it obviously we do the normal 110 point pdi and electronic health check and all of that malarkey um so straight tidy l2 long wheelbase transit thanks for looking at the video i know i'm gonna have to patch the two of them together so it'll be a bit weird um but there we go um don't hold it against us and thanks for looking at the video